morning students by now i feel all of you have gotten used to the online learning system i know you are missing school most of you must be missing school and it takes time for us to get adjusted to a new learning system i believe all of you are practicing your reading writing and math skills reading all the chapters thoroughly what we have done so far understood all the concepts and also learned to spell and read the difficult words today we shall take up a very interesting the most wanted at the same time a very important lesson that is the solar system kindly open chapter 14 page 80 the earth and the solar system we will learn a little about earth and more about our solar system so children what can you see in this picture we can see stars big small and huge we can see some planets the sun the orbits comets asteroids and meteoroids now what are all these objects these are called as heavenly objects they are called heavenly objects now where these objects are located they all are located in what we call as the universe all these objects as i just said the comets asteroids planets the sun and the stars are located in a vast expanse of darkness that is called as space what we call as space in other words the darkness around the stars the planets is called space you must have heard about this word space now moving on you can see these groups these are groups of stars big small and huge all together cluster to form a word called galaxy we know when objects are together they form a group so similarly when stars are clustered together they form a group called as galaxy let us count a few galaxies now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight approximately eight but do you know a solar system is also a part of a galaxy let us know what is this first this is a solar system consisting of planets the sun stars comets asteroids and meteoroids this is a solar system now our solar system is a part of a galaxy and the name of the galaxy to which our solar system is belongs to is called as milky way so we learned a, a few concepts today let us revise this whole thing is what we call as the universe and the universe is so huge that it cannot be measured it has no beginning or end then we learned about galaxy galaxy are a group of stars clustered together we learned about space the vast expanse of darkness is called as space we learned about the solar system and the galaxy to which our solar system belongs is called milky way but we will focus only on the solar system let us learn about the solar system i'll make it a little simpler for you what does solar system mean let me write the word solar system solar another word for solar is sun another word for system is family so if we complete the statement we get to know it's the sun's family now in the sun's family the sun is the most important member 
and let us see why the sun is the most important member. Take a look at three important pictures and you will get to know the three important reasons why the sun is said to be the most important member of the solar system. In the first picture, you have seen that the sun is the center of the solar system. The sun is in the center of the solar system. In the second picture, you have seen that sun gives us heat and light. And plants need sun's heat and light to grow. And in the third picture, we have seen the sun has bright light. Let us revise. The sun is the center of the solar system. It gives us heat and light. And the sun has bright light. And let us learn about the other members of the solar system. They are the planets. So these are the planets. Planets are circular bodies. What can you see in my hand? It is a smiley ball. Now what is the shape of a smiley ball? It is round on all the sides. So any object that is round on all the sides is also called circular in shape. So planets look exactly like this. They are round on all the sides. That's the reason they are called as circular bodies. Circular means circle. Planets revolve around the sun. In the last picture, you've seen the planets revolve around the sun. They do not have their own heat and light. The sun's light reflects on the planets and as a result, they look a little bright. And the last point, there are altogether eight planets in the solar system. Let us revise about planets again. They are circular bodies. Planets revolve around the sun on fixed paths which we will learn in our later class. They do not have their own heat and light. The sun's light reflects on the planets. And there are eight planets in the solar system. Now we will learn about each planet in detail through an interesting story. Sanjay missed his social studies class on Friday as he was not well. When he returned on Monday, the teacher asked all the students about the solar system. But Sanjay could not follow anything that was discussed in class. He started thinking and reading his textbook, but there were some concepts that Sanjay could not pick up. Would you want to help him solve his difficulties? And you too can learn something new about the solar system. The teacher wrote three questions on the board and asked the students to find out the answers. Let us solve one question at a time. The first question asked was, how many planets are there in the solar system? We have learned that there are eight planets in the solar system. Now we will look at each planet in detail. Mercury. Mercury is the first planet in the solar system. It is the smallest planet and the closest to the Sun. Venus Venus is the second planet in the solar system. It is said to be the hottest planet. It is closer to the planet Earth. Earth Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It is a unique planet as it has life on it. Mars Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system. It is the second smallest planet after Mercury. The color of this planet is red and therefore it is said to be a red planet. 
After Mars comes Jupiter. It is the largest planet. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system. It has rings around it and it is said to be the most beautiful planet. Uranus Uranus has rolls on its side. It is the seventh planet that is called an icy giant in the solar system. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth and the farthest known planet from the sun in the solar system. It is a bluish green planet. Now, Uranus and Neptune are called twin planets because they are same in shape, size and color. The second question asked was, how do planets revolve around the sun? All planets revolve around the sun from west to east. But planets like Venus and Uranus move from east to west. And the third question was, what are orbits? All planets move around the sun on fixed paths. These paths are called orbits. Yes children, you've learned a lot about planets in the last video. Now let us revise three important questions the teacher asked the students. First. How many planets are there in the solar system? Altogether, eight planets. Next question, how do planets revolve around the sun? All planets revolve from west to east. While Venus and Uranus revolve in the opposite direction, that is from east to west. And the last question, what are orbits? Orbits are fixed paths on which planets revolve. Orbits are fixed paths on which the planets revolve around. Children, it is important that we learn the names of planets in order. Now, it's very difficult to remember. We get confused with two M's, that is Mercury and Mars. So, it is so to get it more clearer and easy to remember, I have a small clue for you. M for Mercury, V for Venus, E for Earth, M for Mars, J for Jupiter, S for Saturn, U for Uranus, and for Neptune. Now let us learn it in a different way. M for my, V for very, E for educated, M for mother, J for just, S for served, U for us, and N for nachos. Let's complete it. My very educated mother just served us nachos. Let us repeat it again. My very educated mother just served us nachos. 
memorize this children so that you can remember the names of planets in order. So children, let's take a tour around the solar system. We have the sun, first planet Mercury, second Venus, third Earth, fourth Mars, fifth the largest planet Jupiter, the beautiful planet Saturn, Uranus and the last planet which is far from the sun that is Neptune. And let us learn about stars. Stars also belong to the solar system. It is also one member of the solar system along with the sun and the planets. And let us learn a little more about stars. Stars are self-luminous bodies. That means they have their own heat and light. They do not reflect on the light of the sun. Every star has its own light. But what we learned about planets, planets do not have their own heat and light. The second point, stars are hot burning gases. They are made of hot burning gases. Many gases combine together to form stars. The third point is, sun is a star. Sun is the is a huge star in the solar system and there are actually many many stars but these stars look very tiny from the earth but as compared to the sun since sun is closer to the earth it, it looks like a big star and the last point stars are big in size this is all about stars we learned a lot of new concepts today we learned about the universe our solar system our solar system is the family of the sun. We learned about the sun, the planets and the stars. In our next class, we learn about the other members and complete the family, that is comets and asteroids. I want you to read the chapter thoroughly, learn the spellings of the planets and learn the names of the planets in order. Stay home and stay safe children. Thank you.